Hey there friends, how's it going today? We are playing Before We Leave. We're gonna start a new game and make some planets of our own. Wait, are these... is this people? Uh, this is how people are born? Jesus Christ, why did my parents lie to me? They made it way more gross than it actually is. Alright gang, let's build some lovely houses without planning permission. That's right, that's the first thing I'm getting rid of on this planet. Planning permission. What is this planet like? Oh. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. We were all wrong. The planet is not a sphere. And it's not flat either. It's a hybrid. First potato made. Yay, Ireland. Ireland is the first country. Wait, I can demolish stuff? No, oh, that's what you get for building without planning permission. Yeah, sorry about that. That's right. You got to turn the house this way to match your neighbors. You can't just be looking in at them. Animals. Is this a shipwreck? Oh yeah, that's water. <laughs> How did it get up there though? An explorer's hut. That sounds like a good idea. Then we can actually travel around this world and see what's here. Or if my prediction is right and there is no more to discover, this is just it he'll walk off the edge and he'll become folklore a library well i don't think they know how to read or write so i don't know if there's much point but <laughs> let's go for it all right no more swearing because we're about to become miners i need to get some stone and before you say i'm a bad influence on the miners i said let's go get some stone not let's go get stoned Oh, I think that one's Pikachu. <laughs> now that your village is set up, it's time to think about a bigger goal. Exploring the world on a ship. Wait, what? <laughs> Hold on, I only just made a library. I think that's a bit of a jump. There's an ancient metal device nearby that, according to legend, can turn one thing into another. Okay. Oh yeah, how didn't I see this thing? Jesus. <laughs> Create tools using the transmog... Grifer? What? Okay, they definitely can't read or write. They just threw some random vowels and consonants together to get this word. Deforestation is the way forward, I say. <laughs> Go for it. I'm just gonna strip this world for everything it's got. Look at that. I even built them an elevator so we can get all the resources up here. Your peeps on Island 1 on Planet 1 are getting thirsty. What kind of thirst do you have? I need to know so I can try and fix the situation. Okay, I've selected everything on this island to be mined or chopped down. <laughs> ah, yes. I love that peaceful music as I destroy an entire ecosystem. It's a bit weird for them to destroy everything. Like, they've no use for this amount of resources. They just got the call from a higher power, i.e. me, and they just felt like they had to do it. I like having this control. And with those, everything is gone. Welcome to your new home, a barren wasteland. Did you know the forest will slowly remove pollution from tiles next to them? Well, that tooltip is just a tad too late, I'm afraid. You know, you might want to speed up and learn how to sail because you're going to run out of resources here pretty quick. I'm going to need some more houses. I need more people. Destroying an ecosystem is not easy work when you only have 10 people to work with. <laughs> it's telling me to make warehouses because I just stripped the land for everything it's worth. Uh oh, oh Jesus, what have I done? <laughs> All right, good thing I have no trees so there can't be a forest fire. See, I'm out here playing 5D chess. Jesus Christ, the road system is just all over the place. <laughs> God help them when cars are invented. <laughs> Who has right of way here? Okay, slight problem. You know earlier how I eliminated the need for planning? Yeah, that's come back to bite us in the ass. <laughs> so we need to knock one of your houses so we can actually drive through here and get to this. There we go, situation resolved and I only made... A few families homeless, that's all. Okay, maybe I should get rid of some roads to make some extra space, because this is just all over the place. Um, uh, <laughs> okay, I, I, I think I, I made this in a way that it's actually not repairable. <laughs> I got rid of these two at least. Oh, Jesus, look at this. I already have quite strong pollution. We only just started. I think it might be good to start rewriting history now and say that our planet started without trees. <laughs> Your people are becoming unhappy. <laughs> not surprised. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, they're getting annoyed because there's pollution. <laughs> Finally, I can repair this ship and get off this godforsaken island. Let's get going. I like how this, like, little village just kind of started and they already want to leave. I don't really blame them. There's a big pollution issue. We're just really unlucky that we had no trees to begin with. Keep building houses. Come on. We got plenty of more people in this weird underground shelter. I don't know why they're staying in the subterrain. They should be subscribing instead. <laughs> I don't think they'd like me though. Do you? Gang, I know I'm giving you massive mixed messages on what to focus on, but please get that ship repaired. <laughs> Hurry up, come on. Do you know what's worrying? I chopped down all the trees and we're kind of running out of wood. Like we got a bit, but it's a little bit concerning because we don't have anything to replace that wood. People are getting hungry. Well then, you shouldn't have grown so quickly. <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm the one building houses and I blame them for moving in. Now there's no food. We're also running out of wood that I need to repair the ship. Come on, fix it and I'm gonna escape with some of you. It's concerning how many of them are coming in with all of this wood. Like the amount of wood we're using, I don't think there's gonna be any left. How is our pollution looking, by the way? Okay, not great. Let's just put that away and not think about it ever again. Come on, come on, repair that boat. Let's get out of here. Island one, I better rename these so I remember which is which. I'll call this smug town. Oh wait, they, oh, they're in the ship. Okay, great. So I want you to move over here. Don't fall off. Okay, good. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I put you at great danger there. <laughs> okay, I found some sort of island. There are trees here, which is a good sign. There's a shipwreck there, which probably isn't a good sign. Be careful where you sail. All right, let's colonize this island, even though it's a bit worrying because on a lush green island we struggled, and this is a lot of desert. You'll have to rely on the first island for support. I don't think they can support themselves. A ruined spaceship? What? Ooh, that's cool. Maybe we can use that to go to another planet. They're just standing here like, now what? <laughs> How are we gonna ruin this one? Is that a cat? Jesus Christ, that thing looks demonic. All right, let's get chopping trees, but like a little less scorched earth this time. We'll keep some, it's just to make some area to build. All right, a straight road this time. Okay, that didn't turn out straight at all. There we go, straight road. I'm going for a bit more organized than the cluster I left on the other island. Look at that, I'm actually doing some slightly organized road planning this time. All right, let's rename this island too. And I mean like this island, also, not like uh, this island too, because, well, it is also island too, so that is correct. But you know what? Forget it. We're going to call it the favorite island. <laughs> I'm not even going to look at the other place. <laughs> I hope they're fine. I'm sure they are. Your peeps in Smog Town and Planet One are getting hungry. Not a delete. I'm going to research shipping now, even though I should probably be researching graveyards. I feel like I am doing the same mistake again, but short term, this will pay off nicely. Stop telling me they're getting hungry. <laughs> I'll just say I didn't get their letters. All right, you you know what? I'll check in on Smog Town. Let's go over and... Oh, it already looks more depressing when you go over there. Oh, sweet Jesus, the resources they have left. It's not feckin' much, is it? Everything down here is gone. Oh, they're in major trouble. The happiness of your peeps in Smog Town on Planet One is beginning to drop? No, there must be some mistake. How is it only beginning now? I named the ship Spudnik because all we're doing is shipping potatoes, apparently. Probably not what the people need, but it's just a trial run, okay? Sailing is new to us. It's giving me warnings they're hungry and I'm like, come on, onto the ship. We're gonna need some tools over there as well. And some of your green research, whatever the hell that is. Okay, I have them delivering tools and whatnot to the favorite island now. Also, I need green technology. So send me a hundred of your green technology and I guess you can have some red technology back. Because I think some stuff like, for example, pollution cleaner. No, I've no use for that. <laughs> but <laughs> things like uh, steel here need 20 of each. Okay, I've made it so everything from smog town is going to the favorite island pretty much <laughs> i've just accepted that smog town is not meant to be jeez these gang are partying on the favorite island like they're also starving but it's good to see them having a good time okay so now i can plant forests so just get planting and quick because i really need the wood over on my favorite island what do you mean no fruit available <laughs> god damn it just spawn trees it's not hard okay look they're probably going to revolt anyway so what we can do is in exchange for basic all of your resources you get a little bit of fruit from my favorite island it's funny because the one gift i'm giving them is just so that they can plant more trees which i will be taking from them again this island actually looks kind of beautiful i gotta say <laughs> like it really is the favorite island compared to smog down <laughs> over here scout ship dusty is ready oh great okay we gotta go out and find oil oh look at that another landmass to ruin fantastic i want to discover all of this land i'm gonna map out the entire world. Oh Jesus, look at this. This is a nice little place actually. Is that oil? That's it. We're invading. Is that every word discovered? It is, I think. Wow, I've mapped out the entire planet. Look at this. I'm gonna upgrade all your huts into houses. All right, you know what? I think it's about time we get to work on our spaceship to get as far away from Smog Town as we possibly can. They're holding us back. The forest is not working. <laughs> They're waiting for fruit, but I'm not exporting it off. I'm eating it all. All right, what if we forget about Smog Town's forest and we plant trees here instead? Dead. Like, we already have the fruit here. I'll be fine. Oh, Jesus, what have I done? <laughs> I'm so bad at roads. Ah, oh, yes, the forest is coming along nicely. Perfect. Let's chop all those down immediately. Man, I'm seeing a 
lot of sad faces out here. <laughs> this isn't good. All right, I'm digging up some sand now and I'm turning it into glass. I learned that from Minecraft. <laughs> and then that's going over to the ruined spacecraft. And then all I'll need is tools and a bit of power and I can escape this stupid planet. The important thing to remember though is the foundations were all wrong. Starting without wood or anything was just a disaster. Like it has nothing to do with me. I, I am not at fault. Colonizing the new island to get that oil. <laughs> oh, and look at all these trees. They can go too. <laughs> this one can just be called oil. That's all it's good for. Okay, I think all we need now is power. I don't know if we can generate enough without the oil though. Like we're almost ready, but we're just not powering it up enough. What if I just make loads of wood burning plants? There we go. Pollution is the solution. Jesus, the favorite island is after getting very busy now. But the main thing is the oil plant is up and running. When I say up and running, it's idle because I never powered the thing. Okay, now the most important thing is the oil well is up and running. Or you could say the oil well is well. Okay, so now we can ship off that oil to the favorite island. And there you have it, a lovely fuel refinery. So they're going to start uh, making fuel out of the oil that I'm importing, which is fantastic. And then we can resume this, which literally only needs to be fueled. It looks pretty good. Like, I wouldn't fly in it myself, but I trust it with your lives. I think the oil island is starting to realize that they're literally only here to get me oil so I can leave. It's pretty miserable here. Having said that, Smog Town isn't much better. I made another fuel refinery, so now it's getting fueled up pretty damn quick. We're almost there. We're almost ready to leave. <gasps> I think it's done. The stars beckon. Achievement unlocked. Oh, the crew's all on board. Everyone's unhappy here. You know what? Favorite island, oil, and Smog Town. It's time for me to leave now. Launch. Oh my god, look at it. Yes, abandon that place and leave behind all that pollution. Oh, that is so cool. It's giving me notifications that my people are hungry and that we can't unload the ship. Yeah, like I care. It's called the Flying Dutchman. That's great. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go straight into the sun. <laughs> no, let's let's go explore over here. So you actually have to like orbit the planet. That is so neat. It has arrived in orbit. Okay, colonize. Ooh, oh, look at that. It's so different in color and everything. All right, you know what? Land there. And there we go. Brilliant. Pretty good for a wooden rocket ship. Oh, there's blue technology there. All right, there's a few houses, but you know what? My first instinct is to knock every single tree on this planet. I think you're better off without me. My guidance is clearly not good. So we will leave it there. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to join any of my settlements, then just subscribe. You are more than welcome. Uh, I post every day, so I'd love to have you around. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye for now.